platform game great. A good story and killer graphics, sure, but more important is creating a fun, innovative world with lots of things to do and explore. Whoa, this is great! Oh, and by the way, the name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. The team that brought you Spyro the Dragon is back with their new game Ratchet and Clank, and they've created a world filled with a collection of weapons and gadgets that would make James Bond jealous. There are 35 different weapons and gadgets. The weapons you buy and the gadgets, some of the gadgets you buy, some of them you find. Well, what's a rhino anyway? Rip ya a new one. What did you just say to me? R-Y-N-O. Rip ya a new one. Why, that's the most powerful missile launcher in the galaxy. 35 weapons and gadgets? We wondered if they could name them all. You got the wrench, the pyrocitor, the agents of doom. There's the defense droids, the morph array. There's a bomb devastator, blaster. Premium nanotech, super nanotech, uh, code bot, rare titanium. Hydro pack, hoverboard, zoomerator, sonic summoner, O2 mask. The, um... What else? Uh, uh, um... Um, something else I'm probably forgetting. <laughs> we'll let them off the hook. That's a lot of weapons. Obviously, a lot of work went into coming up with all these items. Well, the design process starts with the designers and the rest of the team brainstorming about what weapons would just be cool to like, hold in your hand. What, what could you blow stuff up quickly with? What would be a very thrilling, visceral um, type of weapon? And so we, we come up with 50 to 60 different ideas. And then from those, we focus on the ones that we think have a strong gameplay value and that the players will enjoy the most. It's always function first. We really like to think a lot about what the player is going to have fun doing and what's going to be really useful for them. We've got 40 people in the company who are just coming up with really wacky ideas. And designers end up filtering out the ones that have the most potential. And then we prototype them see which ones really do work well, and then we come up with our final set of gadgets. In terms of gadgets, my favorites are the swing shot, where you can swing sort of like Tarzan from one swing shot target to the next, and it's a very acrobatic feel to it. Uh, I also like the Trespasser, which is a um, special device that allows you to hack into locations. One that's very popular among most of the people who've played this is the Visibomb. The Visibomb is a guided missile, and when Ratchet fires one, you get to pilot the bomb from the bomb's perspective. So you're cruising around the levels with the camera up on the tail of this missile, and it's really cool. To get all these cool weapons, you'll have to be on the lookout for the currency in the world of Ratchet and Clank, old bolts that are scattered around the levels. The bolts in this game are money, so you've got nuts and bolts and gears, and these are used to purchase various things throughout the game. There, the design that we have is fairly complex. There are, there are a lot of things that you can buy. Let's go, buddy. I ain't got all day. Furthermore, there's another gadget that uh, will help you collect more bolts. This device will help you make even more money. Why are we not surprised? There's a gadget for just about everything in Ratchet and Clank, and that's what makes the game so fun. To check out all the nuts and bolts of Ratchet and Clank, go to www.us.playstation.com. to be transported to a brilliant sci-fi universe filled with imaginative characters, high-tech weapons and gadgets, and unprecedented action-packed shooting adventure. Welcome to the brave new world of Ratchet and Clank. When we started talking about the ideas behind Ratchet and Clank, this character that rockets from planet to planet with weapons and gadgets. Well, weapons suddenly jumped to the foreground. Ratchet lives on a backwater planet out in the edges of the galaxy. He's a tinkerer, loves to put things together and take them apart to see how they work, very curious. 
He's got this really strong thirst for adventure. And lucky for him, he gets to meet Clank, which allows him to travel to new worlds. And Ratchet and Clank meet each other, but they don't necessarily get along. Ratchet just wants to go out and blow stuff up and have a good time, and, and Clank is much more serious about accomplishing his goals. Showcasing an impressive arsenal of state-of-the-art and radical weapons and gadgets, Ratchet and Clank delivers the future of entertainment here and now. When you get weapons in this game, there's such immediate gratification. You can go out and blow the crap out of everything. With the gadgets, we wanted to make sure that there was a lot of different options for the player when they're playing to kind of explore a lot of different ways to kind of cause some havoc and, and, and destruction. There's the Tesla Claw, which uh, shoots a bolt of electricity out, which actually picks characters up and throws them in air, and they explode. You've got the Suck Cannon, which allows you to suck characters in and hold them and fire them back out. The uh, Rhino is an acronym for Rip You a New One, and you just stand back, fire that thing, and it destroys anything in its way. I love the Pyro. I'm not sure what that says about me. One of the most unique weapons we have is the Visibomb. It's awfully fun to cruise around the level from the bird's eye view and then target an enemy on the ground and just blow them up. We were really surprised how quickly Ratchet came together. Ratchet started as this really small, scrappy cat type thing. Then kind of a much taller dog-like creature. And what I ended up doing was actually taking these two forms and putting them together. And that's pretty much how we ended up with them. As artists, we've set a really high standard for what we want to achieve in this game. But it, it feels really good to know that the programmers, the designers, everybody has set equally high standards. Everybody who comes on board here is excellent at what they do and have really high expectations of delivering excellence. When someone plays an Insomniac game, they, they can see anywhere they look in the game, there's an attention to detail, quality, as well as technical performance that, that is never lacking. Developed by Insomniac Games, Ratchet & Clank is the development team's first entertainment venture for the PlayStation 2. We knew we had to come up with something that was going to raise the bar even farther than Spyro had as far as action platformers went. And that's where Ratchet & Clank came from. We're actually expanding the genre. We're trying to break out of what people typically consider the action platformer or character action game genre. One of the big differences between Spyro and Ratchet is being able to animate this stuff on the PS2. In the single level of this game is probably more art than was in an entire game in one of our PS1 releases. Every single level of the game, we bring forth something new for the player to do. By the fifth or sixth level of this game, we are up to the complexity of the strongest titles in the category. And there's a lot of levels in this game. It's a very deep machine. We've written immense amounts of code and assembly language, probably more than 100,000 lines, compared to what we did on the PS1. You know, more by a factor of 10. We can have very rich, detailed environments. We can have lots of enemies attacking you at once um, with their different behaviors. Um, the AI has become more complex. With faster processor speeds, we can have um, many ships and planes and vehicles just traveling through to breathe life into the environments. There's loads and loads of stuff wherever you look. There's detail, there's movement, explosions. It's a busy world. We're not just creating these environments and expecting them to sit there and expecting people to say, wow, your polygons are so pretty. The point is, it's alive, and there's a lot going on. It's not a static universe, it's an interactive universe, and you interact with it. This game has a lot of great things, art, technology, design, power from the PlayStation 2, but, but the best part of it is you get to blow shit up. <laughs> With a team of talented designers, programmers, artists, and animators, Insomniac Games raises the bar and delivers another captivating game only for the PlayStation 2. When I tell people about what I do for a living, like, that's not work. It's fun. The Insomniacs don't, don't take themselves too seriously, and people love to come to work and, and, and just have a good time, and I think that really is shown in our characters. <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. We, as a company, are committed 
to giving our games a lot of humor. We use a little bit more sarcasm, and the humor's a little bit more biting. With an immense arsenal of gadgets and weapons, innovative gameplay mechanics, an evolving economic system, unparalleled technology, and vibrantly detailed graphics, Ratchet & Clank is a galaxy-stomping, adrenaline-soaked masterpiece. We've gone out of our way to make this thing the largest, loudest, most active world we could possibly think of. What Insomniac has done with this game blows my mind every time I see it. Like, I just sit in awe and stare at the, at the visual material and just the all-encompassing feel that this game offers. There are a lot of things that the players have to do, a lot of things that players have to keep in mind, but when it comes down to it, it's really just about blowing shit up. Blow up a lot of shit. Blow up and blowing shit up. Ratchet and Clank, coming to a galaxy near you.